بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of allah the merciful the compassionate all praise is to allah the creator of the universes and their sustainer the provider of believers and unbelievers and may his choicest blessings be on the seal of his prophets the last of his messengers and his holy progeny when we paused on the last occasion we were discussing that sentence in the first stanza of dua kumail in which imam ali alayhi salam teaches us to invoke allah by his universal authority and he says we said to him wa bi sultanik alladhi ala kulli shay yes wa bi sultanik alladhi ala kulli shay and by your sovereignty which pervades everything which is over everything and we 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 finished the last time by discussing the legal principle of extradition whereby if a person commits a crime in one country but then escapes into another country which has no extradition treaty with the country in which the offense was committed then he cannot be arrested he cannot be sent back to the country in which the offense took place to be tried there such such impediment does not exist with allah glorified and exalted because his sovereignty wa bi sultanik alladhi ala kulli shay because his sovereignty extends universally and that is that is the the point imam ali alayhi salam makes to invoke his mercy that you are a person whose authority nobody can escape and 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 and, and we were considering as a situation in which even a person who whose death is to come would be would be confronted by the angel of death wherever he might be he does not need to be in a, in 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 any particular jurisdiction all i wanted to say in completing this matter is that that authority of allah glorified and exalted is is exorbitant it is compelling it it really provides proof of divinity by itself wherever one is one meets one's death and indeed indeed allah taala does this in a in a in a glorious way there are there are many instances in which this this phenomenon comes into play unnoticed but allah glorified and exalted has magnified some of these instances in history and recounted them in 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 his successive books that he revealed on his on his messengers so that these truths become aware to humanity a glorious example is how in the time of nabi noah the people disobeyed him and he warned them that the that the punishment of allah glorified and exalted will meet them if they do not obey allah glorified and exalted and yet they did not and the flood came i am cutting a long story short because it is so well known and so well um, uh, described in the holy quran and indeed mentioned in 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 other religious books also well he warned them that the wrath of allah will fall on them and they and yet they were conf- they confronted allah a few people were taken onto that ark and that noah noah's ark was prepared soon a flood came a flood that flooded the entire world with water it was a glorious uh, demonstration of the power of div- divinity which none could resist they kept saying that they would run away from the water but none managed to and all the recalcitrant persons all the disobedient persons were drowned Allah glorified and exalted acted in magnificent glory demonstrated his 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 authority and that authority was demonstrated in a in a in a in a, in a unique way the whole world was 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 involved water everywhere that you that you that you went in the world and so and so his omnipresence his omnipotence were all and his omniscience were all exhibited by allah glorified and exalted in a glorious way 
none could match that authority of Allah, glorified and exalted. And so we say, وَبِسُلْطَانِكَ الَّذِي عَلَىٰ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ Well, one can multiply these examples manifold. But I want to give only one more example before I move on, because I'm conscious of the fact that we, we need to, 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 to make progress with at least the preliminary parts of the uh, uh, Dua'i Kumail. Well, but, but one example I want to quote is of Fir'aun. Nearer time, nearer time to, to us, and uh, an episode well described in a number of religious books, an episode in which he, Fir'aun, was running away from his own country. He was running away to chase Nabi Musa, alayhi salam. That was the purpose. And yet, Nabi Musa, alayhi salam, crossed the Nile in a miraculous way. The Nile split to make way for him, as we have already discussed, and it is very well known. And yet, when Fir'aun reaches the, 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 the point in which, at which his entire army is already in the Nile, the, the water of the Nile, falls onto Fir'aun and, his, and his, his army and all of them drown. So you can see that authority. Now we are talking of a king. A king running away from his own country in order to chase Nabi Musa alayhi salam. And, and, and indeed, indeed, with the knowledge that he can come back to his country whenever he can, but he did not. He did not manage. And at the time when the water when of the Nile fell on him and his army, he kept pleading for help, but would not be able to receive help anywhere. He became totally helpless. So you can, you can, you can see how Allah glorified and exalted. When he chooses, manifests his glory in a public way in which eminent personalities are, are involved. In one case, Nabi Nuh demonstrated it. In the other case, Nabi Musa alayhi salam demonstrated it. And in the second case, there was the, there was the example of a king in office. The way Saddam went, the way Saddam went, he thought he was an authority by, his, uh, by himself. And yet Allah gave him time. Gave him time, gave him a number of years to, to put himself right. He did not. And ultimately, when the time came, Allah used enemies of Islam to enter an Islamic country and topple uh, a tyrant who was causing Muslims so much, so much uh, tyranny and oppression. Well, this is how Allah operates, and this is this is this is the personality and the and the and the exhibition of Allah's power, of his omnipotence over everything when the time comes. And that is why he is not in a hurry. But more of this, when we come to that passage in Dua'i Kumail, in which Hazrat Amir salam teaches us to say, to say to Allah, glorified and exalted, وَلَا يُمْكِنُ الْفِرَارُ مِنْ حُكُومَتِكَ It is not possible to run away from your command, from your orders. Well, such is the teaching of Tawheed in the very opening passages of Dua'i Kumail. And this is, this is the, 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 the exuberance of uh, Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam on, on, on that particular issue. I quoted Saddam only so that I'm not criticized for quoting only ancient, ancient examples of the O o omnipotence of Allah, of uh, Allah glorified and exalted, and of His vastness of sovereignty, authority that pervades everything. Nothing can escape the command of Allah. Hazrat Amir alayhi salam makes that a point of intercession. We presenting our case to Allah glorified and exalted by saying that if such is your power, who am I? I am nothing in your in your sight, and yet I am everything as your servant in your sight, and yet you are merciful to me, and I and I seek seek intercession from you, of your that capacity of omnipresence and omnipotence to to help me and forgive my sins, duas that will follow in due course, and having given that. Um, 
ground of intercession of his sultanic alladhi ala kulla shay as the mirror alayhi salam teaches us then to say wa bi wajhik al baqi ba'da fanai kulli shay and by your countenance by your face which which will endure after everything else has been has been uh, has been destroyed after everything else has perished wa bi wajhik alladhi wa bi wajhik al baqi ba'da fanai kulli shay and by your that countenance which will survive everything when everything will have perished the only thing that will remain will be will be your countenance indeed like the other um, uh, examples that we have already seen we 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 have already seen six of them this is the seventh uh, crown of intercession that amir amir al mu'minin alayhi salam presents in all of them the the foundation for those items on those names for example those attributes of allah glorified and exalted all contained in the holy quran and i have taken uh, uh, opportunity now and again to cite those particular ayat in this particular instance the ayat is so 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 famous kull Uh, in, in surah rahman uh, allah glorified and, and, and exalted says kullu man alayha fan wa yabqa wajhu rabbika dhul jalali wal ikram everything that is in it that is in, 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 in on the in, on the earth everything that has been created kullu man alayha fan will will perish but there will survive wa yabqa wajhu rabbika the countenance of your lord dhul jalali wal ikram well well countenance obviously allah glorified and exalted has no face but metaphorically what it means is that the only entity that will survive the only the only personality the if you like the only the only thing that will survive that un, will be the 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 personality of allah glorified and exalted and when i say personality not in the context of the person as we as we know ourselves in the context of a being that that will be because allah taala has no body he has no shape he 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 is lam yakun lahu kufu an ahad he cannot be compared with with anything and that is why it is wrong to talk of a leg of allah glorified and exalted except in the meta metaphorically when we are talking of somebody else performing functions in the name of allah glorified and exalted when when imam ali alayhi salam he was known as wajhullah and 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 indeed his hand was known as yadullah because his hand carried out functions that were not humanly conceivable and when that sort of thing happened people said it is not his hand that 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 that, that pulled up the, the 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 gate of khaybar it is the hand of allah that did it and that example in which when charity is given by a person we say it is not his hand it is the hand of allah glorified and exalted and it is only in that context that we ascribe limbs to allah glorified and exalted otherwise he has he he walam yakun lahu kufwan ahad he cannot by can be compared or or resembled to anything in, in that 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 is that is created because everything that exists has been created by him and he is not subservient to his own creation his creation is subservient to him as logically must be the case so so that that face of allah that we are talking about really we are talking about the entity of allah and that is what allah says in quran quran kullu man alayha fan everything will be destroyed that is indeed that is indeed the 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 exuberance the exaltitude of 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 providence that everything should be destroyed and for him that is easy because he created everything in the first instance and he who created it 
could destroy it at, at, at any time, in any manner, and create it again if he so willed, because the power is, is there is subsisting in him. Well, so, so, Hazrat Amir salam says, by that, and, and what am I? I am a person who will be, will be fana. I, I will die one day because everybody dies. All humans die one day. Indeed, everything will die one day. But you will be the one that will survive. And so he says, and indeed he uses those words, he, he incorporates the words of the holy book, the words of the holy ayah into the dua as an intercession. And it is such a, such a compelling ground of intercession because, because when a human being as a creature turns around to Allah and says, he is contemplating his own fana. When I will be gone, indeed when everything will be gone, you will be there. So who do I supplicate to? Who do I present my wishes to other than you? Who can be there more powerful than you? That everything gets destroyed and, and, and the only entity that survives is he. And that is one of the strongest arguments of the divinity of Allah glorified and exalted, the, the total sovereignty of He being Allah, of He being one that is worthy of worship. Because if He were to die like us, we may not consider Him worthy of worship, because He would be like any, any, any other person. He would be subordinate. If He were to die, then the entity that causes His death would be more powerful than Him. Then His, his divinity would be lost. Indeed, the one who causes his death would be the God and not, and, and not him. Nor can there be a sharing of the process in, in, that, in that instance. So you, because the question is, who dies first? Because if there was one of the two who can compel the death of the smaller God, then he would be the God and not the smaller God. So there is no room, as we always say, for two gods. That is a position that can only be in, in singular. It can only be unitary. In, indeed, this is why the unity of Allah, the Tawheed of Allah, is of paramount importance. And this is why Allah glorified and exalted says that he will forgive all our sins except shirk. If we associate him with any other authority, giving that other authority divine powers which are exclusively his privilege, exclusively his authority, then that is a sin he will not forgive. But short of that, he will forgive all of the sins. I pause here on the question of sins because there is a lot more to come in Dua'i Kumail on sins and how we seek forgiveness of sins. And inshallah, we shall take opportunity to discuss them. So we, we, I leave that subject now. But what is, what is important to not to miss in this, in this preliminary introduction of Dua'i Kumail in respect of this particular intersection intercession is that uh, Hazrat Amir alayhi salam seeks to teach us the, the, the glory of Allah that it is only he who will survive and everything else will be destroyed. And, and of course there is, there is a support for that proposition in the holy book. Indeed, one of the most important points in establishing the total sovereignty of Allah glorified and exalted is that everything will perish. Just as, and we will come back to this inshallah in the next, in the next session, just as he was, he was the only one there when there was nothing there, likewise he will be the only one there when everything else will be gone. Well, so Hazrat Amir al-Islam teaches us to invoke him in that way so that we can turn his attention to us and hope to obtain his forgiveness. And after that, the eighth, eighth quality of Allah that uh, Sayyidina Amir al-Islam invokes is, and by, the, by your names will be asma'i kallati mala'at arkana kulli shay. He makes a fantastic point there. He says, by your names. 
and it is so pertinent that he should he should dis- de- deal with this because we we mention his names all the time and we mention different names on different occasions in different in different contexts well it is pertinent that he should discuss this in the in the preliminary paragraph of dua kumal and so he says wa bi asmai kallati i seek to ask whatever i will ask in this dua by your names and not in singular not by ismik wa bi asmai and indeed we will see the different names that he invokes in the dua itself and we will discuss the significance of those names inshallah wa ta'ala as they arise and so i will not detain you on them now but he he, he, he g- generically he uses them as a ground of intercession to invoke the mercy of allah even before he commences presenting the the the, the supplications he says wa bi asmaik allati and and he makes a fantastic point of teaching here asmaik allati malat arkana kulli shay and by the names which have permeated the essence of all things so one can one can learn from the very introduction of dua kumail and this is the point i made in the first setting that there is so much teaching on tawhid in dua kumail it is it is a, a, a philosophy a book on philosophy by itself this particular supplication he says wa bi asmaik allati malat arkana kulli shay names that have permeated the very essence of everything in other words everything that is on earth has the name of allah in it well what does that mean has the name of allah in it has 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 qualities of allah that allah has imbibed into them if there is a flower that is sweet sweetness is a quality of allah if there is if there is uh, knowledge that is his 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 quality one in other words in everything that we see in this world hazrat amir alai salam teaches in everything that we see in this world there is there is there is uh, a, a picture of allah glorified and exalted a reflection of allah glorified and exalted if there is sweetness allah is sweet if there is color then 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 allah has has beauty if if there is knowledge then allah has knowledge if there is power in any in in, in anything then that power uh, allah is 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 the most powerful qualities indeed we are told there are 99 asmaul husna and and we know all the 99 good beautiful names of allah glorified and exalted and so as the mir alai salam says each one of them has its own quality and those qualities are embedded in 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 the creation of allah he says that these names are names which have permeated the essence of all things not the superficiality but the essence if there is a sweetness if there is a, a sweetness in 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 a flower then that sweetness remains all the time because it is not superficial it is it is permeated in the in the essence of it a f- petal of flower may have been broken from from the flower itself or it may have fallen and yet from where it is it will give that beautiful scent that shows the permeation of the quality of allah allah in it um, so hazrat amir alai salam makes a very important point there the important point is that if there are these qualities of allah permeated in everything in everything that you see you see the quality of allah then allah is there in everything he is not only he provides proof that he has created it he provides proof that so long as the thing is remains then his presence in it is also established is also proved we cannot need to look for allah he is there everywhere we have to turn around and wherever we look in this in this uh, in this world we see allah we see allah in the firmament we see allah on the earth we see allah in the sea we see allah in ourselves his qualities his presence his power his omnipotence may allah give us the tawfiq and the knowledge 
to know Allah better and better and come nearer and nearer to Him. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.